What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here and welcome to part 5 of the uh, FIFA 15 Scouting Guide. Today we're going to have a look at the May update, but before we get started, just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been entering the contest so far uh, to show off your best youth player. Had some absolutely incredible entries, I'm just uh, putting a few up on the screen now. Just some absolutely amazing players in there, really high overalls, really high potentials, really great work. So if you want to have a go and if you think you can do better than some of these pictures, just uh, send me a tweet at FIFA Scouting or uh, hit me up on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash FIFA Scouting Tips. Or post an image in the comments section of this video or on the uh, website itself, I'll put a link in the description because we've had some fantastic entries and uh, if you think you can do better or if you have a really good player you want to show off, make sure you enter as well. Um, just showing a picture now of the be best player that i found so far. As you can see, one month uh, scouted, I've only just found him, his overall and his potentials haven't narrowed down at all. That's that potential 81 to 94, that's just how I found him. So if you think you can do better than that as well, uh, then make sure you enter. I will uh, announce the winner in a video on Thursday. So um, get scouting. So anyway, we're moving on to the May update today. And this is a really, really important thing to understand because it can make such a huge difference to your player overalls in your youth academy and to how good they come out when you promote them. So just as a little example here, I'll show you three players I have in my academy here. And as you can see from their potentials, they have extremely high potentials. All of them could hopefully reach around about 90, you know, eight, late 80s as well. Really, really good players. And uh, now if you recall, this player here, this is the player which I showed on the last video who had the absolutely atrocious overall. I think it was 28 to 38, but his potential was 73 to 94, I think it was. So he was very promising. And as you can see, he's narrowed down. So his overall is now 36 to 38, so it's still going to be absolutely dreadful. But his potential has narrowed down to 88 to 94. And interestingly, he's an attacker in the left back position. So we've seen what happens if you get wingers in the fullback position, but you can also get attackers in the fullback position, as you can see here. So he could be interesting when he comes out. And we have a goalkeeper with very high potential. This is actually the goalkeeper who I posted just now, the one who had 81 to 94 potential. He's now got 86 to 94 potential. And we also have a technically gifted striker. So these players have not come out uh, after the May Academy. If we go to the season here, we can see we're in April on April the 20th. So this is what might happen if you promoted these players without them going through the May update. Right, I have now promoted those players and uh, this is still before the May update. They haven't gone through the update at all. So let's have a look at how they are. So the first one is a goalkeeper. He has uh, 60 overall. It does say has potential to be special. So that means his potential is at least 91. But that's, a, that's you know 31 points of growth he's got to get. He's playing in Barcelona, he's unlikely to play much, and so it's going to be really difficult to get him to grow all the way up to 91. I mean, you know, his goalkeeper stats aren't incredible either. Not really an amazing player. Now, uh, we next have the left back, who was the attacker in the wrong position. 37 overall, as you can tell, you know, not very good. That's kind of what we were expecting given his range, sorry, his potential range. If you look at his stats, finishing 63, that's one of his best stats, but he has marking 15. Uh, stand tackle 25. He's going to be absolutely useless as a left back. Uh, so he's completely mispositioned, mispositioned and it's reflected in his overall. And the last one we have is a striker, 58 uh, overall. Uh, no potential status, that's because he's under 60 uh, overall. But he, yeah, he's okay, but uh, he's not amazing. Again, at Barcelona, he's unlikely to get much game time. So this is the kind of thing, the kind of results you can expect even when you have really high potential players if you promote them before the May update. So let's see what happens if we wait just a couple of weeks uh, and then promote them after May the 1st. Okay, so here we are on the 30th of April, day before May the 1st, and if we have a quick look at the players in the academy, this is how they are before the May update, still really low overalls, uh, stats not really very good, not looking great. So let's see what happens if we advance one day and then go and have a look at those same players in the Youth Academy to see what's changed. So let's go back in there. As you can see, massive jumps all round. Everyone has gone up loads in uh, overall. All of their stats are now looking much more healthy. And so let's see what happens when we promote them to the first team. Okay, so we're back and we have now promoted all these players and let's have a look at how they are after the May update. So goalkeeper, first of all, 73 overall. 
with some really good stats in there. Reflex, goalkeeper reflex is 78. He's going to be much better, much more usable uh, in a Barcelona squad. You can put him out in cup games or against lower league teams and he should grow nicely. Should get plenty of game time and he has potential to be special. Still, he looks fantastic. Now, let's look at that left back who is the attacker in the wrong position. So he's come out at 71, uh, also has potential to be special and have a look at some of these stats. He is absolutely incredible. If you were to put him in any position other than left back, basically, 86 finishing, 87 crossing, 97 acceleration. Have a look at some of the specialities he's got. Poacher, that's one for a striker, speedster and crosser. So basically, if you were to put him on left wing or as a striker, he would be absolutely incredible. Um, 91 curve as well, 87 reactions, 89 short passing. He's going to be fantastic. As long as, like I said, as long as you just basically don't put him at left back. So uh, the same with winger fullbacks. If you find an attacker fullback as well, they will grow uh, and be massively overpowered in certain areas. So the final one to look at is the technically gifted striker, 71 overall, an exciting prospect. So his potential is somewhere between 86 and 90. And he has some fantastic stats as well. 76 finishing, that's great. 88 dribbling. He's not the quickest and his balance isn't fantastic to be honest, but he has some other very handy stats in there and hopefully with a bit of growth he should develop very nicely as well. So as you can see, waiting uh, until after May the 1st makes an absolutely enormous difference to the players who you have in your squad. I mean this one here he grew like I think it was 34 points, he essentially doubled his overall which is insane. If you have uh, players who are in the correct position, they won't grow quite as much as that. But this guy here still, uh, he grew, what was it, 13 points. Goalkeeper here also grew 13 points. That's a massive jump and you do not want to miss out on that. So make sure you do not promote your players in uh, April or March, that sort of time. Hang on until May because otherwise you, you could lose an entire year's worth of growth. And it's unlikely that if you promoted them earlier, they would have grown this much in a season like 13 growth in the season is absolutely insane and there's no way you'd be able to get that, let alone 34 points of growth in a season. So uh, make sure you do not miss out on the May update. Now there's a couple of other things I want to show you uh, just quickly and the first one basically, or the most important one really, is that you can actually change your players' potentials when you promote them. So I'll just show you that now. Okay, so I've just reloaded the save and I've promoted them again and let's see how they have changed. So, as you can see here, this goalkeeper, he used to have uh, his status as uh, has the potential to be special. He's now showing great potential, which means his potential has now gone to somewhere between 80 and 85. Uh, the left back who was formerly um, has potential to be special as well, he's now an exciting prospect. And this guy here who was an exciting prospect now has uh, the potential to be special. So they've all changed their potentials. And you may also notice that this player's overall is also different and that's basically because uh, on the 1st of May when your players grow in the academy, uh, their stats are all, uh, they'll be distributed slightly differently each time. So uh, this time he has 94 sprint speed, whereas before he had 89, so it's slightly different. And you will, you'll find that if you promote the same player over and over again, do lots of testing, his stats will probably be uh, different every time, very slightly differently. Occasionally their overall is different, but it's not a massive thing, it's just something to look out for. But the main thing is that their uh, potential is different. So what you can do is, if you have, <clears throat> if you have a player in your academy whose potential range, for example, is uh, 80 to 86 so he's likely to come out with showing great potential as his status what you can do after you've offered him a contract is just save your game and then advance until he accepts go and look in the squad report screen like this and see what his potential status is uh, if you're not happy with it you can always quit the save and load it up again until he accepts the contract have another look and you may find it, he has a better potential and it's a really good way of uh, giving your players higher potential because that means that they will, uh, with higher potential, they will grow more. Um, so you could end up, if you wanted, with a team full of players with has potential to be special, whereas when they're in the youth academy, they didn't look like they were quite as promising as that. So it's just a little tip to make sure um, you do that if that's what you want to do, if you want to really boost your player potentials that way. And the final thing I was going to note was that uh, the player work rates, weak foot and skill move stats will always be the same when you promote them from the uh, youth academy. 
and sometimes they're not great for the position. For example, this one here, he's a left back with amazing attacking stats. He has a low attacking work rate and a high defensive work rate. And that won't actually change no matter how many times you reload it. But you can change the uh, work rates in the formation screen. So it's not a huge problem, but it's something to make sure you remember to do when you play them. If you don't want him, uh, if you don't want this player, for example, always tracking back and not joining in the attacks. And you may also notice that he doesn't have the poacher stat this time either. Uh, speciality, sorry. That's because his stats are slightly different again this time after I reloaded it. And so he hasn't quite got the uh, requirements to get the poacher speciality. So I'm going to wrap it up there today, guys. Hope this has helped you and explain what the May update does and why it is so important. If you do have any comments, please do leave them below. Leave a like if you thought the video was good. And make sure you enter that scouting contest. I really want to see what the best player you can do is and I will announce the winner uh, in a video on Thursday. So cheers for watching.